There are many things that can go wrong with a newly purchased car, and we know how frustrating it is to find out that a big purchase didn't go as planned. Some new owners may be tempted to call their vehicles lemons, even though there are specific guidelines laid out in the law as to exactly what makes a car a lemon and allow the consumer to take legal action against the dealer or manufacturer. Join us in today's video to find out the circumstances when we can and can't claim a lemon. Hello and welcome to our channel, Lemon Law Assist. We help people with lemon cars and tell them their rights as a consumer. So without any further ado, let's get started. Is my car a lemon? Any new car with multiple problems could warrant the question, is my car a lemon? It doesn't matter where you bought or leased the car from or how much you paid for it. Even reliable car companies like Honda and Toyota, as well as high-end ones like Audi, Mercedes-Benz and Tesla have made bad cars. No matter how much research you do or how trustworthy the car dealer is, you could end up with a lemon. Statistically, about 1% of all new cars are considered lemons every year. That's more than 176,000 cars and trucks all over the country that look great when you bring them home, but quickly start to break down. Now let's talk about some common points and circumstances you should know before filing a lemon law claim. Firstly, nature of the defect. The type of issue your car is having will mainly determine whether or not it's considered a lemon. For example, if the door handle falls off or the heating system only puts out lukewarm air, but the car still works fine and doesn't pose any safety risks, it's probably not a lemon. But if your transmission or engine isn't working right or your brakes don't work right, it's more likely to be a big problem. If you tried repeatedly to fix the vehicle with no luck, you may find yourself wondering, is my car a lemon? And the answer very well could be yes. Number 2. Warranty Also, in order of the vehicle to be seriously defective, the defect must have appeared within the express warranty period. The Lemon Law requires all vehicles to have express warranty of at least 12 months or 12,000 miles. If the express warranty period is longer than 24 months or 24,000 miles, the consumer's right to a replacement or refund is limited to defects that occurred within the first 24 months or 24,000 miles. For warranty defects which occur after within the warranty period, but after the Lemon Law's 24-month, 24,000-mile limitation, the consumer would have to seek compensation for failure to repair if the vehicle is not repaired after a reasonable number of attempts. Number 3. Number of Attempts In order for the Lemon Law to apply, the buyer must have contacted the manufacturer directly at least once about the problem. And it is the manufacturer or the manufacturer's agents that must be allowed a reasonable number of attempts to fix the problem before the car is declared a lemon. In other words, if the buyer notices a problem and tries to get it fixed at an independent car shop, this may not help his lemon law case. Again, the buyer must talk to the maker directly and the maker must be allowed to try to fix the problem if they want to. But if the problem was fixed on the first, second or third try, you can't say it's a lemon. What does a lemon car look like? Well guys, lemon cars usually don't have any dents, scratches or rust on the outside, so they look normal. They're unsuspecting. But if a mechanic looks under the hood, they could find a number of problems that were not visible. Or if the buyer only drove it a little, the problems would start to show up in the weeks and months to come. Most of these cars are brand new. Most of the time, these problems happen in the first few weeks after the purchase. The owner finds out then that they brought a piece of junk. Let's talk about the most common warning signs that a car might be a lemon. Damaged tires. Damaged tire threads alone aren't good indicators of a car's condition, but in some cases, they may serve as red flags. If the tires have a cupped appearance, it's likely that the car has issues with its steering, suspension, and brakes. Clunking when steering. The feedback you get from the car while steering is a telltale sign of a car's health. If it makes a clanking noise while turning left or right, there could be link damage or worn-out gear. Additionally, if the wheel shakes or the car veers from a straight path, then there's a good chance the vehicle has steering defects. Exterior and Interior Damage Earlier we said that a lemon car may look okay, that is, upon first glance. Taking a deeper look, however, might reveal chipped paint, mismatched body panels and interior flaws, including a crack in the dashboard and missing buttons. Worn-out Suspension a damaged suspension shows in various ways. Common signs are hard rebounds after pushing on the fender, and heavy bouncing while moving at a normal or even slow speed. Tailpipe spews fumes. If the tailpipe of the car starts to spew out fumes or anything unusual, then something's up. 
Excuse my pun. <laughs> Billowing white smoke could be an indirect sign of a blown gasket or a damaged cylinder head, while blue smoke indicates burning oil. All of these issues are expensive to fix. Engine revs with light acceleration. The sound of an engine revving can be quite pleasing to the ear, but if a light tap of the gas revs the engine too much, then that could be a sign of trouble. Generally, it stems from a clutch that's unadjusted, worn out, or from a damaged automatic transmission. A clutch that needs readjusting isn't too expensive, but if it's completely worn out, then the driver will have to cough up some serious dollars. The same goes for an automatic transmission that's damaged. Guys, don't ever think that a lemon car is something that can't be fixed. You would be better off buying a whole new car with the money you'll have to spend on repairs. There are a lot of stories about people who spent a lot of money and time on a car that was too damaged to drive. Don't put yourself through that. Find out how to check a car and what you need to do to make sure it's safe to drive. By making the effort, you can be sure that you and your family will be driving the best car possible. You can also hire a lawyer with a lot of experience. Get in touch with our Lemon Law experts today. We have skilled and aggressive Lemon Law attorneys who can help you figure out if your car is covered. Book us for a free consultation. Call us at 1424397211 or visit our website. We'd love to talk with you about the next steps. Apart from that, if you have any questions regarding Lemon Law, let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, visit our channel to watch more content like this. Make sure to support us by subscribing and turning on notifications. See you next time. Goodbye.